I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. Do you have Jesus? He will never let you fail. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. I have Jesus. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. Do you have Jesus? He will never let you fail. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. Luke chapter 7. I have Jesus. I cannot fail. Are you in chapter 7, verse 12? <laughs> I cannot fail. Do you have Jesus? He will never let you fail. You cannot fail. I cannot fail. Luke chapter 7, verse 12. Now, when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother. And she was a widow, meaning that the husband of the woman was dead. And the only son also died. Tears will dry from your eyes. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. He came and touched the coffin. And they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to thee, arise. And he that was dead sat up, began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Walk to seven people, tell them, don't bury me. I'm not finished yet. Hands. Whoever who has concluded over your life, they concluded too early. You know why? God does not finish with a man who is still pretty. Huh? Whenever they conclude over your life and there is still breath in your nose, they made a mistake. Huh? There are 3,000 people under the sound of my voice. By the time you will get to your house, everybody who has concluded over you, they will change their mind. I said they will change their mind. I said they will change their mind. I said they will change their mind. Lift your hand and shout that amen like thunder. Say after me, say, Father, let them change their mind. Say my father, my father, let them change their mind. Let them change their mind. Say my father, my father, let them change their mind. Let them change their mind. Hear me. Can I talk to somebody? Can I talk to you? I say, can I talk to you? For everything they have wished against you. Looking at your life now, ah. they have concluded that this is how you will remain and stay forever. My God is about to disappoint them. Amen. I say, My God is about to disappoint them. Amen. My God is about to disappoint them. Amen. By the next time they will see you, you will rise to your next level. Amen. By the next time they will see you, your level has changed. Amen. By the next time they will see you, you are no longer who you used to be. Amen. 
I move you from commotion to promotion. Amen. I move you from commotion to promotion. Amen. I move you from rejection to projection. Amen. I move you from a nobody to a somebody. Amen. I move you from a mess to a message. Amen. I move you from disappointment to appointment. Amen. I move you from shame to fame. I move you from shamification to glorification. I move you from a wanderer to a wonder. I move you from a non-entity to a some entity. I move you from the back side to the front side. This is your season. This is your time. This is your season. This is your time. For when the Lord shall turn around the captivity of Zion, we shall be like they that dream and our eyes shall be filled with laughter i came to announce to you before they know it you have changed your level before they know it you will borrow them money before they know it you are coming alive again 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 you serve a dead god you serve a mighty god is the same yesterday, he is the same today, he is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God opens the door, no man can close it. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. I prophesy to you with this mouth I used to pray. Any day you see the sun, it shall be a better day for you. Any day you see the moon, it shall be a better better day for you. You will never have a better yesterday. As the day progress, your life shall be better. The Bible said, the path of the righteous shine brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. For the glory of the latter day shall be greater than that of the former. He said, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is Raising upon you, I announce to 72 of you under the sound of my voice. You are coming out of shame. 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 Receive your grace. Receive your grace. I pull you out of the pit. I pull you out of the pit. I pull you out of the pit. Let me hear you shout fire. Take your seat. In a manana kosha la bahata. We have read the Bible said now. It said Jesus was coming to the city. It then goes. Manungo baha. Another dead man was being carried out of the city. Follow me. When that boy was sick, the mother of the boy must have contacted Jesus. But Jesus did not come. When the boy died, the mother must have said, Oh Jesus, if you can come now, this boy will come back to life. But Jesus was and he must have said if you had come now this boy will come back to life but Jesus was nowhere to be found everybody around the woman we are asking the woman where is your Jesus I thought you were a church goer where is your Jesus I thought you go to citadel where is your Jesus are you in a situation where people are asking you where is your Jesus where is your Jesus Jesus when you lost your job. Where is your Jesus when you failed your exam? Where was your Jesus when the Lord left you? Where is your Jesus? And you don't know what to say. Can I talk to you? That question is not for you. That question is for your Jesus. And Jesus said I should tell you. Don't answer them. Because I am about to appear. I hear Jesus say to me. For everybody asking you where is your Jesus don't answer them for I am about to appear for am I to 
I tell you somebody here for the ways of man is not the way of the Lord for the path of man is not the path of the Lord for as the earth is higher than the sun so is the wisdom of God higher than that of man I came to announce to you Jesus will not fail you Jesus will not disappoint you Jesus will come before they laugh before they laugh at you Jesus will appear before they mock you Jesus will appear before they call you names Jesus will appear Lift your hand and say Jesus Can I talk to you? Jesus is not a late comer. I hear. Hear this. Jesus does not come late. Jesus may come later and make your miracle the latest. He does not come late. You see, you have tall dollar tallest big bigger biggest late later so jesus does not come late he may come later and make your miracle the latest am i am i am i am i talking to somebody here the Bible said for everything under the sun there is a time and a season a time to cry and a time to laugh a time to die and a time to be born a time to sorrow and a time to joy your days of sorrow are over your season has changed somebody say my season has changed Ah. You know what happened? The woman never knew, sir, that as they were coming out of the city, as they put one leg to come out, Jesus was outside the city monitoring their movement. If they put one leg out, Jesus will put one leg in. You know they hear me? Closer. I call him divine technocrat. Yes. He is the master planner. Yes. The imminimous God. Yes. He is deeper than the deepest. Yes. He said, I am God, I change it not. <laughs> Yet he changes with dispensation and time, Closer. but he changes not. I can cause a change, but I will not change. Ah. Ah, I'm oh. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, Listen, as they were coming, why did they meet at the gate of the city? The reason was because if they carry any dead man out of the city, the man does not come back to life. The man must be buried. But Jesus was monitoring their movements so that at the gate, both the dead and Jesus will collide. Can I talk to you? Your business cannot go out of the gates. The highest point is the gates. Satan wants you to lose your business. It cannot go outside the gate. The highest point is at the gate. Your marriage will not go outside the gate. Nobody will bury your business. Nobody will bury your life. Nobody will bury your destiny. Nobody will bury your marriage. Lift your hand and shut fire. Hear this. As they were coming, scripture said that boy was the only son of a widow. If you ask me, I will tell you, sir, that it was the same thing that killed the father, that killed the boy. Because the father died unfulfilled. And probably the crowd that we are following the mother, we are rushing to bury him so they can collect all the father's property. And because they saw he was the only son, they decided to kill him also. So what killed the father was the same thing that killed him. There are some of you listening to me. The 
same battle your father faced is the battle you are facing. The same battle your grandfather faced is the battle your great grandfather faced. And you are standing up to face the same battle. And if you don't end that battle in your generation, your children will still face the same battle. That is why I came to prophesy every transgenerational battle, every battle that moves from generation to generation, in your generation, that battle is over. If you shout an amen, God ends your battle now. 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 I prophesy to you. What stopped your father will not stop you. What stopped your generation will not stop you. What stopped your grandfather will not stop you. Every curse upon your head, they are broken by fire. Every curse upon your marriage, they are broken by fire. Every curse upon your ministry, they are broken by fire. I break your cause. I break your cause. I break your cause. I break your cause. I'm praying for some. Somebody. I don't know who I'm praying for, but there are families here. Curses are on your head. Place your hand on your head. Every curse upon your head. Every curse upon your marriage. Every curse upon your business. Every curse upon your career. Every curse upon your ministry. I break them by fire. 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 By fire, spread them by fire. Yes, serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. It is the same yesterday. It is the same today. It is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God opens the door, no man can close it. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. Your curses are broken. You can hear amen three times. They are broken. Take your seat though. Take your seat though. Take your seat though. When you begin to face what your father faced is an issue. When what stopped your father begins to stop you is that is a crime. You see yourself fight battles you didn't bring upon yourself. Am I communicating here? You see yourself enter into battles you don't know how they came about. You see yourself go into things you don't know when they started. You see yourself begin to wage war. You want to succeed like others. Others are succeeding. When you show up, that cause from your father will come and stand and say, where are you going to? It comes an issue. You see your life. What you don't know begins to know you. I read the scripture. The Bible said when they asked Abraham, who is, who is this woman? Abraham said, she's my sister. Abraham lied. When Abraham was lying, Isaac was in the womb. Isaac was not born. When Isaac came to the same country, they asked Isaac, who is this? Talking about Rebecca. Isaac said, she's my sister. The same lie. The same situation that confronted the father and swallowed him, confronted him and swallowed him. When Isaac gave birth to Jacob, Jacob was not only a liar. Jacob was both a liar and a schemer. Jacob gave birth to 12 children. 11 of the children came together to lie to him that Joseph has been killed by an animal. Transgenerational. They don't know. Even if you want to say the truth, life will come out of your mouth because it's in your blood. There are people here. The reason why you are poor is because anybody you do business with, you must, you cannot be sincere. Even if you pray and fast and say, Lord, I want to be sincere. You see yourself, do one mistake and they'll discover they will leave you. If you trace your father, your father was insincere. Your father was insincere. The same thing that fought them is what is fighting you, even though you pray and fast. Am I talking here? Am I talking here? So the day you realize it, it becomes an easier thing. You don't break a course, you don't know when it started. You need to do a, 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 a physical study on your family and know what attacked fathers that is affecting you. No matter how holy you are in Abraham's family, you must do extramarital affair. You can't stay with one woman. Abraham couldn't stay. No matter the promise God gave him, he had to go for high guy. Isaac the same. Jacob could not stay with Rachel. He went for Rachel and Leah. When he gave birth to children, his son, Judah, Judah had 
to sleep with his daughter-in-law. Because it's not his fault. It's in his blood. Their generation continued. Until when it comes to the time of David. David was sleeping with people's wife. That we are buffing anyhow. When he entered Solomon, Solomon closed the book. It's generational. It's not their fault. I've seen pastors and I'm not cool in Bahata. No matter how holy they are, once they see a sister on skirt, their third man is uncomfortable. They pray and fast. It is not a fasting matter. It's in the blood so you understand it and kill it so that it doesn't come upon your children. If you hear, say I hear. If you hear, say I hear. If you hear, say I hear. You hear, say, I hear. I hear. Am I communicating here? Am I talking to somebody here? Because of extramarital affair that Judah did, the tribe of Judah could not produce a king for 10 generations. For many generations? How many generations? 10 generations. Because when Judah slept with Tamar, the daughter-in-law, she became pregnant and delivered twins, Perez and Zara. And the both of them were abomination. Deuteronomy 23, 2. The Bible said, No abominable child will enter the congregation of the Lord, even till the tenth generation shall they not enter. So the sin of Judah in bondage ten generations. So if you're a politician and you are among the ten generations that came before David, no matter the poster you print, no matter the campaign you do, you can't win. Because of the sin of the father. That was why the first king of Israel came from the tribe of Benjamin, which was Saul. God never promised Benjamin kingship. But when God came to the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Judah, to pick a king, the sin of Judah manifested and God left and went to the smallest tribe and took somebody. Yeah, okay, you don't know. That was why if you read Matthew chapter 1 from verse 2, he said, And Abraham begat Isaac, Isaac begat Jacob. Jacob begat Judah and his brethren. Verse 3. If you count from the tribe of Judah, it was in the tenth generation that a king emerged. Said, and Judah begat Perez. Perez begat Ezra. That is two second generation. Ezra begat Aram. Three. Aram begat Aminadab. Four. Aminadab begat Nashon. Five. Nashon begat Salmon. Six. Salmon begat Boaz. Seven. Boaz begat Obed. Eight. Obed begat Jesse. Nine. And Jesse begat David the king. Tenth generation. Tenth generation. It was in the tenth generation that a king appeared. So all the other names we are ordinary names. No kingship was attached. But on the 10th generation, he said, and Jesse begat David the king because of the sin of his father. And even when David came out, man of God, start off. When David came out, the same thing his father did, he fell for it. He broke the yoke and wanted to commit the same thing his father committed. In 2 Samuel chapter 11, Scripture said he was outside. Israelites were battling. He was on the couch. He saw a woman bathing. In verse, in verse 3, he said to Joab, Bring her for me. In verse 4, he slept with the girl. In verse 5, the girl came and said, David, said, send to David a letter. Tell him I am with a child for him. So she conceived. In chapter 12 of 2 Samuel, in chapter 12, verse 15, the Bible said, And the Lord struck the boy with a sickness. It was not a normal sickness. It was the Lord that struck the boy. 2 Samuel 12, 15. And the Lord struck him with a disease. In verse 19, from verse 16, 17, and 18, David was praying to God, Oh Lord, heal my son. In verse 19, the boy died. Why did the boy die? God saw that if he leaves that boy alive for another 10 generations, kingship will leave the tribe of David. So God said, For me to save 10 generations, let me kill this boy and release 10 generations.
if you read verse 20, the Bible says when they told David that the boy was died, he said, and David washed his head, drank wine and ate food. It's finished. Because he was fasting for God to heal the boy. But God cannot heal who he brought sickness upon. What is it your father has done that is speaking against you? Place your right hand on your head. Oh Lord, my father, I decree upon every hand that is on your head whatsoever that traveled from your father's life to you. Today, I command them bread by fire. If your enemies sound better, they are broken already. If your enemies sound better, they are broken already. Somebody shout fire. When Jesus stepped in, there was a change. In, 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 you know what the Bible said? Please, those outside, come in and find the seats inside. It, when Jesus came in, you know what happened? The Bible said Jesus went straight. You know the first person that he touched? He said to the woman, weep not. As he was talking to the woman, those carrying the coffin, we are trying to go out of the city. Bible said he went and touched the bearers and they stood still. That standing still was against their wish. The one rush go behind your Shanda. Anybody rushing to bury your life, I command them to stand still. <laughs> That your uncle in the village, that your auntie in the village, that Baba Lawo, that Mama Lawo, that native doctor, that witch doctor has looked at your life and they have seen your destiny and they know that something good is coming out of you and they are rushing to bury you. I command them to stand still. I say stand still. I say stand still. I say stand still. I say stand still. May you shall fire. Stand still. And they did what? They stood still. They want worker. They no feel worker. They want move. They no feel move. Hey! Zikata. Manuni. Delede. Joshua chapter 5 verse 12. And Joshua lifted his hands. And he said, son, stand still. And the son stood still till the next day because he was fighting. And Elijah looked up to heaven one day. He said, there shall be no rain for three and a half years. He locked the heaven, took the key, put it in his pocket and went to his house. For three and a half years, no rain. Because a man spoke. Everything they are using against you, I command it to stand still. <laughs> Watch this. You know, in the land of Israel, when you're going to bury somebody, you hire, you hire criers. You hire people that are coming to cry. They call them professional mourners. They are, you are not, it's not their brother that died, but they can cry more than you that your brother died. Stupendous ignoramus. No, be their brother that died, but they can cry more than the person. They are professional and they don't pay them until they cry they cry so as soon as they saw Jesus they knew that business has spoiled make I talk to you all those waiting for your downfall for them to shine with it their business is scattered today Nobody will shine with your downfall. If you say an amen, you are receiving grace for the next level. Can I pray for 17 of you? If I be a man of God, I pray for you. The Lord said to me, all those that want to bury you, between now and 5th of April, attend their burial. Father, the person with the loudest amen, let them attend the burial of their enemy. 
Let them attend the burial of their enemy. Amen. Let them attend the burial of their enemy. Amen. Let them attend the burial of their enemy. Amen. Let them attend the burial of their enemy. Amen. You know, when God speaks, man has no option. And Jesus said to them, Stand still. Stand what? And they stood still. And he came to the boy who was there. He said, Young man, I say to you, Arise. Who is ready to arise here? Who is ready to arise here? Who is ready to arise? You are going to shout Jesus seven times. When you shout Jesus one, you jump up. At the highest point, you can jump. Jesus number two, you jump. Number three, you jump. Number four, you jump. Number five, you jump. Number six, you jump. Number seven, you close your eyes, shout it, and jump. God said, I will begin to pull people out of the coffin. Some of you, your, your destiny has entered coffin. You are alive, but your destiny is dead. You are alive, but your future is dead. Dead, oh. Dead. Satan is a pastor. Satan is what? Satan is what? Satan is a liar. Are you ready to pray? You just shout Jesus. How many times? How many times? And what will happen? What will happen? You will come out of the grave. Every coffin where they have put your future, your marriage, your destiny, your business, your destiny, you are coming out. Lift your two hands. Say, Lord, I shall shout your name. As I shout your name, you are the only one. You are the only one who can bring me out. Who can bring me out? As I shout your name. As I shout your name. Bring me out. 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 Bring me out! Bring me out! Let me hear you shout Jesus number one! Jesus! Number two! Jesus! Number three! Jesus! Number four! Jesus! Number five! Jesus! Number six! Jesus! Close your eyes, shout number seven! Jesus! <laughs> Let's go. 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 Let's go.
to shout I'm out I'm what who is out here there's a woman here under the sound of my voice the Lord opened my eyes and showed me he said your husband is dead he died of stroke because of a land issue and the same thing that killed your husband almost killed your first son last month Where's the woman? Are you the person? Almost. Because your son was almost dying. Don't cry. Stand up. Let me pray for you. Madam. God said to me. He said that man has vowed to finish your six children. How many children do you have? Eh? Six of them. Your first son. I saw your first son. The man built something like a small casket and wrote it Ugochuku. I said, I will bury you before the end of March. The way I buried your father. Because your eye is entering that same land that killed your father. You are, are you Margaret, madam? Jesus Christ. Anything fighting your family. Somebody shall fire. 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 Who put you in this bottle? That devil is a liar. Come out of that bottle. Come out of the bottle. Now come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Man of God, open your hands. Let me release your finance. God says I should release it. He said it's long. He said, release it. Jesus, release this. Release this. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release. Who is Grace? Grace Carlo. Carlo Grace. Carlo Grace. Are you Carlo Grace? Eh? Are you Carlo Grace? Yes, sir. Madam, inside your Bible or your bag, there are pictures. Yes, sir. Five of them. Bring them for me. Lift your hands. Jesus said, the Amamio. Amia. One, two, three, four, five. Closer. Do you know why? 
You brought these pictures. No, you know why. Don't say no. You know, when you try powers, try juju, try juju, try, try, try. Try, try, try. And before you go to anyone, thank you. Before you go to anyone, I anoint it, hold it. Because we are doing, how many of you came with your handkerchief today? Because this service, God said to me, that woman wanted to cry. But Jesus stopped her from crying. So he said, wipe tears. If you don't have, don't worry. Don't worry. We are going to clean tears for three Thursdays. So I'm going to pray on the handkerchief. After the prayers, package it. Keep it somewhere in your house. Don't use it to clean your face yet. Next Thursday, come back with it. Upper Thursday, come back with it. By that day, I will anoint pour oil inside every handkerchief. And you begin to clean your as you clean your face, you're cleaning the face of every of your family members. Listen, those in abroad, their sweat will dry. Those in Lagos, their sweat will dry. Those everywhere, their sweat will dry. These five pictures, you brought them from somewhere. Yes, sir. Differently. Yes, sir. Eh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, because you are fighting with somebody but the person you are fighting with is faster than you yes so your true. husband was married to you she now came to call her husband and then took your husband from you so, so whenever you want to go to kneel down when you go to any juju place to because holy ghost help me when you go there to do something against her the, the, you go with her picture but before you go you realize your picture is there already yes sir so she has gone ahead of you that's so. and you pay the native doctor to collect your picture that's so. so that's how you collected these five pictures you got them from five different authors so these five pictures are your photographs yes sir Listen, can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? Lift your right hand and say, My father. My father. Any altar. Any altar. Carry my photograph. Carry my photograph. Catch fire. Catch fire. So, you know. You try to go and do something against her. You realize she has gone before you. You realize she has gone before you. So, you now decided to try God. Because before you go to anywhere. <laughs> You're going to, can you give your life to Christ? Yes. Because you've, a lot of things have passed through this in your hand. A lot. Everything you do in a juju man's house has repercussion. It has after effect. I admonish you, if you have gone before, never go again. If you've not, don't try. There is no power anywhere. The day Jesus resurrected, he said, all powers in heaven, all powers on earth, all powers beneath the earth. Say after me, say Jesus, yes. come into my heart. Come into my heart. Cancel my name. Cancel my from name. the book of death. The book of death. Rewrite my name. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the, in the book, book of, of life. life. Wash me. Wash. Me. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. I receive you. I receive you. as my Lord. As my Lord and Savior. I save you. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands as you're kneeling down. Lift it. Anything they have done against you from that altar that makes you behave like a mad woman sometimes and you don't know what happens to your senses when you realize yourself they tell you what you used to do. Now, come out of her! 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 Come out! Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Out 
of her. Out of her. Whatever you don't know cannot know you. Because you are saved, I lay my hand on your head and I deliver you. I bring you out. I restore your marriage. You are the first and legitimate wife. Therefore, I restore you back to your husband before the end of this month. In the name of Jesus. God is entering your marriage. Help her, Jesus. Help her. Come out. Everything they have done against your marriage, I break it. I break it now. I break it. I break it. Lift your hands. Are you ready to pray? Say, Lord, all those that want me to cry, all those that want me to cry, from now, from now, let them cry my cry. Let them cry my cry. You are not saying it well. Say, Lord, Lord, all those, all those that want me to cry, that want me to cry, from this night, from this night. Cry my cry, my cry. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Shabala Jesus. Amen. Let me hear you say three amen and one fire. Amen. 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 Fire. Lift up two hands. Take it down. Wherever they are gathered, sponsoring your tears. Tonight, I command them to cry your cry. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to. But the Bible said they were planning to finish the people of Israel. And in the midnight, the children of Israel were in Goshen. There was cry in the camp of their enemies. The angel began to slaughter all their firstborns. I release the judgment angel over your enemy. Let them slaughter your enemy. Let the angel of God slaughter your enemy. If I hear your amen, they are slaughtered. There's a woman here, they turned your face to a scorpion. To a scorpion. Any man that sees you thinks you can bite him. And that's why everybody runs away from you. Your name is Rosemary. Rosemary, you're not married. Come, you're up to the age of marriage. You're not married. Please come anywhere you are. Quickly. My name is Rosemary. I'm up to the age of marriage, but I'm not married. Leave your seat and come. And let me release you. Now. Please, everybody stand on your feet and lift your two hands. And let me pray for you. My name is Rosemary. I'm up to the age of marriage. And I'm not married. Leave your seat and come. If I pray for you, that yoke is broken. If you are ashamed, Mm. Setala. Idi mae. Oye we. Idi mae. No. No. Not you. 
My name is Rosemary Come. Oh, from grass to the grace. Jesus, you lift me from the grass to the grace. There's a man here. God said to me, your enemy wants to take your life tomorrow. Tomorrow, your, your, you can't, you can't help me, Father. Why is your father? Are you Rosemary? Is your father late? Yes, sir. You know what killed your father? No, sir. You don't know what I'm praying for you about. I want to pray for Regina also. I hear Regina. Regina, I'm Regina. Come. Let me pray. Are you Regina? Come this way. If you see this woman, what's the first thing you will ask her as, a, as you're looking at her? Her size. No, how you are, yeah, because of her size, what would you ask her? How is your health? How is your husband? How are your children? How are your wife? How are your children? Did you tell me his name? Eh? Are you sure? Very sure. You didn't tell me his name. Wait for me. Or you just told me you're coming with somebody. You didn't tell me his name. Okay. Can I professor? If anybody sees you, they will ask you, How are your children? It is even possible to ask her, How are your grandchildren? Because of her size. Are you married? You are not married. It takes a prophetic eye to see she's single. Are you, are you Regina Ibe? Where are you from? Eh? You are from Ebada. Is it where you live or that's your village? It's your village. Your immediate younger sister is not married too. Her name is Eukaria. Yes, sir. Let me pray for you. Yes, yes, yes. The young man on yellow. Mepaka. Every misrepresentation of your destiny. Come out of him. Everything that has attacked you and made you look big for nothing. Made people laugh at you. Bring him up. Come. Look at your houses. By now, you should have three hotels. Or you don't have no one. Nothing. You don't have a job. No job. Nothing. Look at, look at, look at it in the realm of the spirit. But none has been given. Because they took your two hands and they brought a big chain and locked it. And they padlocked your hand. You see opportunities. You've seen 15 different opportunities. Do you know him very well? Eh? I know him. Too well. Yes. You've seen over 15 opportunities. You didn't maximize one. So as soon as the opportunity passed, your eyes will open. Satan is a liar. Today, I call for the heavenlies and I bring to an end every power that has been attacking you, that has folded your hands. Let that chain in your hand.
I break it. I break it. Somebody say broken. Say broken. Say broken. God has seen you. Did you hear me? God has done what? God has done what? Jesus! See her. Bring her up! Jesus said, I've seen her. Jesus said, I have seen her. Bring her forward to me. You cannot labor and another will eat. Did you hear me? Because that's what is about to happen. Out! 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 Everything they sent against you. Come out of her. Now! Now! I clean these tears. This shame that is coming to you, I return it back. Take her to go and lie down on the altar. Let me pray for you quickly. Yes, yes, yes. Run and come. built a hospital yes sir when did you have that dream last it's been long it's been long and when you have a dream and woke up you tell to yourself it can't happen it's, it's because if you look at the financial condition of the family yes, and the financial state of everything it's impossible you're a pastor yes sir. Eh? yes you're a pastor yes sir. you're joseph yes sir god said i should tell you that he's taking you to kotonu for a program and in that program, he's going to use you to heal the only son of a general. And that general will build a hospital for you single-handedly. Do you have anything to do with hospital? What did you study in school? You were a lab scientist. This sister said, come and employ me. I take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to be. Take my moments and my days. Father, we give you praise. Shake the devil out of their lives. Father, those of them that will say amen now, let tears be far from their eyes. 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 This is the man God said to me. He said they should bury him. He said they should take his life tomorrow. Look at the way. Can he walk? He can't. No, sir. Did they carry him inside the space? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Carry him with the chair. Carry him. A protocol. Carry him with the chair. Carry him with the chair. Carry him. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him. Ide bube, ide bube. Ide bube, ide bube. Ide bube, ide bube. Onye we mi ide bube. Ide bube, ide bube. Ide bube.
Madam, I deliver your son. I deliver your six children. I declare you will not bury anybody. Anybody that wants to take their life, let that man die before three days. Jesus mighty name. You want to marry? Eh? When do you want to marry? This month. This month. You want to marry this month? Hey! Dance with me. Oh, yeah, dance. Dance, dance. I lose it. 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 Come out of her. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. If you look at her, you think she's up to 60 years or 55 years. She's not even up to 40. You're only 35. Mm. How old are you? The only 35. Holy Ghost. Beautify her. Cancel every spell on her head. Bring it out of her. In Jesus' name. <laughs> this is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. The arrow is here. His spinal cord. Eh? Yes. He can't stand. He can't stand. He can't walk. He can't walk. Seven months. He was normal. Doing well. Yes. But land dispute. Land dispute. Yes. That man told him. That man said to him, "Don't enter that land." Yes. You, exactly, if, sir. If you enter, it's eh? true. Yes. Say if you enter, you will pay with your life. I will do with you. But he entered, slept, woke up, and became like this. Became like this. Eh? That's true. Nah, so, sir. That's true. Yes. I learned this book. Don't cry. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Child, come. Bring her for me. Bring her for me. Bring her. Come, come, come. Stop crying. You know why? Since this man became like this, her school stopped. Because this is the person training him high in school. So they are now carrying him around to train him and you stop school. You can't pay anything. That's why she's crying. Jesus, Patara, Yanile. Yeah! 
Your hands, everybody. Let's pray for him. Tell God this arrow. You know why? It's not natural because it's coming from an altar, an altar will settle it. So God can God said, I want to pull back the arrow out. Hit it. My back. As I hit my back, it will affect you. Stretch your hands. Demand has his freedom now. Demand it. Demand it. In the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Can I get annoyed? Quickly. I believe in miracles. I see. The sun sets free. You have never disappointed me, Father. Let this altar move straight to their village. Every altar that they did this, I combat with that altar. Let that altar bow. Bow. Lord, you show me just an arrow. An arrow. Let that arrow come out of your life. Come out of him. 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 Come out of his life. Jesus Ah! 
Remove somebody and put you. I want to remove somebody and put you. I want to remove somebody. What I'm removing? Answer the name also. But people don't call him that name. That name is the name is father's father. His grandfather used to call him because 
of the white man that visited him. His name was Ferguson. So he used to call the guy Ferguson when he was alive. But people don't call him the name, but that's his name. And he said he's on the seat. He said, I want to remove him and put you. What's your name, sir? Ferguson. He said, he said, remove the man. I hear NDDC. Come this way. I want to give you my seat. I saw a letter handed over to you. Ongo. 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 Is it Ongo? Ongo. Ongo. What does it mean? What does Ongo mean to you? Is that your surname? That's my surname. I saw a letter bearing Ferguson. Ongo. 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 And it's coming. No, it's not kneeling that matter. You are getting enthroned. You don't need that to receive. Stand. Stand and sit on my seat. Look at me. Before you sit, look at me. People have sat on this seat and became governors. People have sat on this seat and became commissioners. We don't prophet lie, we prophesy. On those state elections, governorship election is coming up by November. Yes, sir. The governor of that state in November has sat here. He's, he's waiting to become a governor. I'm talking to you. God is not a man. And Mary said to them, whatever he asks you to do, do it. There shall be water turned into wine. Sit down. Father, anybody that will lift up their handkerchief now, I want to pray because I can close. Help me, Lord. Listen, okay? that man that made you like that, that man that put that arrow, the arrow has gone straight to him. As I speak to you now, he cannot stand on his feet. As I'm talking to you by next Thursday, you are returning with a testimony. He's the only light you people have. Nobody is succeeding. Only him. And they want to kill him. That devil is a liar. Lift your hands. Lift up your handkerchiefs.